What if I told you my life depended on it? I say you'd follow shit. I wouldn't believe you. Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and in this video, we're going to be taking a break from the main quests, and we're going to do the high stakes Gwen tournament quest. And the tournament takes place inside this brothel right here. So let's walk in. Um, I've been holding on to this quest for some time now, and I feel like the cards I've got, like probably this one, that I'm not going to get many better cards, so I'm pretty ready for the tournament. So let's approach the guy and start the tournament. Yes. All right, so want to enter the tournament? How do you play for high stakes here? Firstly, we must have the proper effects. Let's have a look at our cards, shall we? Cards are in order, but can we afford the buy-in? Alright, so it costs a thousand coins to get in. I'm not too sure what the prize money is going to be, but I'm expecting it's going to be quite a lot if that's the buy-in. We can. Well, let's have a name then, and we shall issue an entry ticket. Geralt of Rivia. Gerard of Rivia. The match will start soon, but the hoi polloi must first be driven out. We will please wait. Achoo! Why is he sneezing? Tournament participants only. Everyone else out. Achoo! We are cordially invited to come back tomorrow. Alright, so they're emptying the place for the tournament. Well, well. Geralt of Rivia. And I was beginning to think this tournament would be a dreadful bore. I'm afraid winning coin from peasants, thugs, and faux aristocrats is no great source of satisfaction for me. We know each other. Let's say we've some mutual acquaintances. I've heard many good things about you. In vivid detail. Hmm. Place like this, that's more a warning than a recommendation. What's your name? Sasha. Sasha what? Or maybe just skip right to telling me your real name. Place like this, Sasha will need to suffice. So the other participants, who are they? Anyone we know? Come to the Passiflora often? Seem to know everyone. I'm here from time to time. I cannot say all the faces are familiar, but... That is Patrick Hazelnut. Never goes anywhere without those three. Met a man once who traveled with two Zeracanian warrior women as bodyguards, but those three... Have other talents, clearly. The halfling's Bernard Tully, a farmer, claims to play for pleasure. But everyone wants to win, don't they? You don't pay a thousand coins for pleasure. He's not particularly fond of... others, outcasts, types like you. Ironic, since Phineas himself is a half-elf. And I'm certain you've heard of Count Tybalt. After all, he is the one who organized this tournament. Actually, I haven't heard of him. He's reputed to be fabulously wealthy. I can't say how true it is, but he was able to afford his title and the county that came with it. Alright then, so there's quite a few people playing, but four or five. Alright. See you later, Sasha. Try to chat up the other players before the tournament begins. We must all wait for Count Tybalt anyway. So you want me to talk to people? Mingle? So which one of these two? Because the two people kind of morph into each other here. Is it the guy with no shirt or the other guy? Oh, he's a prostitute. <laughs> he's, a, he's already inside a prostitute. Dirty bastard. Apologies, but I must focus my thoughts before the match. <laughs> um, yeah, I can see that. Won't bother you then. Alright, see you later. Don't let me bother you then. Yeah, I don't really like to mingle, you know, I'm, I'm only going to play these guys in Gwent, so I'm not looking to make allies. <laughs> I'm new to this too. Took me ages to squirrel away the coin for the buy-in. Mushrooms are no quick route to riches. <laughs> so you're really a farmer? I'm really a farmer. Why not look it? Got a little farmstead just outside the city. Could sit there for days just watching things grow. What's with the smell? The smell? Anywho, mushrooms are all well and good, but one's got to get away at times. My lady, she was in tears, said I'd get my throat slit in Novigrad. But I says to her, I says, Hortensia, what a chance. 
The best players, the rarest cards. She had to let me go. Good luck to you. Likewise. Now, that's the sporting spirit. Not like that half-elf over there who's been shooting me murderous glares this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're forced to mingle in a video game. So, can I just talk to this guy and say goodbye straight away? Let's try that. What? Hello, farewell. See ya. Is that enough mingling? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That'll do. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our closed Gwent tournament. By close, I mean more than the mere elite nature of the event. Anyone leaving the Passiflora before the end of play will be disqualified. That's rule number one. Rules number two, three, and four are no fighting, dirty play, or magic tricks. We play for golden figurines. The winner will take them all, along with a monetary prize equal to nine times the buy-in. We got ten grand then. Calculate that nine have entered. The tournament will consist of three rounds. The finalist emerging from said shall play me. Players will be paired by random draw. The groupings for the first round shall be read now. Ah, Phineas and Tim not. Patrick Hazelnut. And Harold Featherbuns. Gervolt of Rivia and Bernard Tull. Ah, how about that? Bramble Frontenstock and <laughs> Madam Sasha. Excellent. A pleasant match to you all. Alright, so we're playing the Halfling. I'm expecting these guys to have the best cards out of anyone that we've played before. Alright, so if we walk out the door now, do we get disqualified straight away? Let's not try, eh? So, we sit down, do we? We do play this guy now? We sit in the chair? Or do we speak to the guy? There we go. Starting at last. A year down the road, I'll be plying Hortensia and my lads with tales of this night. Let's play! You're going down. Alright, so I'm going to play as Northern Realms. I've got loads of decent cards on that side, so... Yeah, let's just go. We're ready. Give me spies. Got one spy. Oh, we got one spy so far. Let's sw We don't need two scorchers, I don't think. See if we can get a dummy or another spy. We've got another spy. Anything else we can do without? I mean, we can get rid of this guy and hope for something better. Or maybe we'll get more of them so we got the worth more out, out the spies. Let's, let's just swap them for now. we got a horn. Okay. So let's play the spies to start with. Why has he got that card? That's a shite card. These are meant to be the best players, aren't they? I won. <laughs> right, he's got that one. Okay. Just play the spies for now. There we go. We got a dummy. We can't take his spy though because it's a champion one. All right, and he's passed. I'm just gonna play one card. I'll play Siri. Get 15, so we win the round. Just so we lose as little cards as possible. Alright, easy start. Should get another card now as well. Yeah, we got Geralt. So what I'll do is I'll play um, champion start with. And then we can... Um, we can destroy his crap ones. The Scorch and the Dragon. I mean, we can yeah destroy his cards. I, like, I always like to play champions in the second round. Just because they're invincible to anything that can you know destroy them. Alright, we'll play um, this one as well. Even though we've got no cards to bring back on, we'll play it anyway. Alright, before we start destroying any cards, let's see if he gets like, another one of them. And gets himself like a high score. That way we can use Scorch and destroy more than one card. No? For, so for now, yeah, we'll just keep using these. Then we'll use Scorch at the end. We can destroy that guy now as well, with the dragon, because he's got more than 10 on the front line. Oh, oh, destroy the strongest. Okay, that's not that bad. Now, we can destroy his 16. I think we'll go for his, his front card first. Destroy that. Because he might bring another one of those sieges on. Yeah, he has. See? Instead of having, him having 64 there out of those two cards, I can just go, boom! See ya! <laughs> He's doing front line freeze. 
I've got a sun card, so I can, I can save myself with that. Let's put the horn on the front, because I've got the leader card as well, which um, gives the horns of the siege. Uh, it's no put that doesn't damage me at all. He's got nothing left now. That's why he's using all this stuff. Let's play safe for the moment. So we'll use sun. Oh, uh, he's got another one. Doesn't matter. We still win anyway because we got so much more points. Yeah, he's passed. We don't even need to use the horn on the um, the siege. So easy win there. Congratulations. Bit of a shame being eliminated in the first round, but so it goes. It is only a game. Having a good time. That's what matters. He's full of shit, that guy. <laughs> He's just throwing away a thousand crowns in the first round. You can't be happy about it. We got a new item, fall test. New card. So, how did you fare in the first round? Not bad. Guessing you won too. I've the distinct impression my opponent was drunk. Had an altogether decent hand, but... Might have had a hard time concentrating. Hmm. Care to finish this conversation in private? I have a proposition for you. Meet on the terrace upstairs. Hmm. Alright. So she... I wonder if she's suggesting that we lose or something, and she'll make up way for a while. I'm, I'm most likely not going to agree to that, if that is the case, because uh, I want to win the tournament. But let's follow her anyway and see what she wants to say talk about. Let's speak to Sasha. Mm, alone at last. What did you want to talk about? A cartload of coin. That's the grand prize, you know. I can't speak for you, but I'd prefer it didn't land in the wrong hands. And luck can be so undependable. Frankly, one should simply take the coin, subtly, you know. Without bothering the others. Why tell me this? Why tell me? I'm a woman. I'm in need of that coin. And Geralt of Rivia would never abandon a woman in need. Or so I heard. Piss off. Who'd you hear it from? Fringilla Vigo. She told me of your adventures in Beauclair. Apparently you're dependable. So long as the cause is just. Um... This doesn't seem like a just cause to me. Yeah, she said, I'm a woman. That's the, her reason. <laughs> Piss off. Doesn't seem like a just cause to me. What if I told you my life depended on it? I say you'd full of shit. I wouldn't believe you. Wouldn't believe you. Fringilla also mentioned I'm easy to manipulate. <sighs> she said you could be trusted. Very well. I'll have to manage on my own. Be trusted? What do you mean be trusted? I, I, I never give you my trust. To like start with, to for you to trust me, you know, I never said to. Tr what the fuck are you talking about? It's not about trust, you idiot. It's about me saying no to your, your stupid suggestion. So we turn to the common room. What is that upstairs now? It says up on the arrow. Isn't it below us? Let's go downstairs first. Oh, here we go. For round two. Your attention, please. Madam Sasha and Gilbert of Revia. Gilbert. Phineas and Harold Featherbuns. <laughs> we wish you a pleasant match. May fortune smile on you always. So this is the semi-finals now. Why did he call me Gilbert? Not oh, Geralt. So win against Sasha. So Sasha's gone. We're playing upstairs, are we? Are there any referees in this game? Like watching over the match. Alright, so where's, where are we gonna play? Wanna dip your dingle? Wanna dip your dingle? <laughs> right here. I get no pleasure whatsoever from easy victories, so I should be very angry if you let me. Win. What are you talking about? You just told me. Don't plan to. Curious about that other proposition though. So she doesn't want me to let her win, but she wants me to let her win, because she... I don't... Make your mind up, woman. She's full of shit here. I don't like her at all. Alright, we got two spies. Good. We got... Oh, good stuff as well. Let's swap this out. Alright, I don't... I want to get maybe another spy or a dummy. I think we'll switch out 
that champion card we just got, so we because we got the siege engine siege stuff, which is quite good. Well, we got the guy we started with, <laughs> the but the archer guy. Oh, that's my. We can still get some good cards with the um, the spies. Here we go. Got a dummy. He's got a dummy there as well. Probably send that back my way, and I'll use my dummy to get it back again. So let's play the spy game again, as always. Alright, he's got more spies than me. And dummies and all that. So uh, we're on the same amount of cards. I've got no more dummies left. So f I can get the I can get them back in the second round with the um, the reinforced cards. So for now, we'll just play, play some cards. We'll try and win the first round. Alright, he's buffing his um, up front. Maybe we can destroy that with the Scorch. Let's play some Siege, actually. What's he buffing now? The back. Hmm, interesting. Just playing all the points at the moment. It's, just, it's a points game at the moment. You know, not destroying anything just yet. Right, so he's got he's got three tens. It's a shame that I haven't got two Scorchers or a Dragon. That way we could get rid of quite a lot of his cards. So, um... We'll carry on just playing normal cards, and we'll use the the horns at the end of the round in case he's got a scorch. Let's go another ten. Right, let's play let's play the scorch now, because it's not likely we're going to get anything higher than an eighteen on his side. So get rid of his eighteen. Playing Geralt. Let's just play our champion cards, then we'll play the horns. Got quite a lot of points there. Those tens are scaring me. It's it, he put a horn on siege when he's got like thirty six points in the middle. Oh, there we go. He's got a good siege one there. Twenty. Shit. <laughs> so um, I think I should start playing some points now. Let's play um, a, a, a horns. I mean, put the horns there. Get two twenties on the board. Right, he's, he's, he's trying to chase me, isn't he? Now, I'm not going to play any more cards. I'm going to use the um, the Siege Horn with this, um, the leader card. And then we'll um, probably sit back now. Maybe pass. Oh, he's passed himself. Alright then. That's no problem. So we'll win the round. We'll get cards back. We can also get Spies on the board on his side to get some more cards. Because we've got the Reinforce um, cards. There we go. We've got 10. So let's play, let's play this one first and we'll get the... Um, the Siege Spy, because it's only worth one point. So we're only giving, giving him one point and we're getting two cards. There we go. Get some good points. So he's bringing one back himself. Bring him ten. Um, we could bring a up front um, Spy on his side and we got the Frost. So it wouldn't be that bad. Uh, it's only four anyway. Right, we've got two sieges and a other champion wants to use. Oh, he's bringing cards back now as well. How's the hell? It's alright, we've still got a horn as well. And we've got cards to use. Draw a card from your opponent's discard a pile. Oh shit! Not seen that before. Dirty bastard. I'm just got to hope my horns will save me. Shit, it's close now. This could be bad. I've still got my frost card to take away three points from him. There we go, he's passed. So yeah, if I use my horn on this, we won. There we go. Pass. Yeah! So we beat the woman, Sasha. Now we're just in the final now, aren't we? I think it's one more round. Hmm. Well, I hope your luck holds. Ladies and gentlemen, the third round. The heat is on. The nearest round's winner will face Count Tybalt himself in the final. <coughs> Phineas and Gerard of Rivia. <laughs> Gerard. <laughs> I'll not play a mute. Are we to understand you forfeit this round? Fine. In that case, no. I'm not swiving forfeit the round. I shall squash him like a louse. Good He's racist. 
Please remember the tournament rules. No magic, no quarrels. Play. Alright, so this isn't the final yet. We need to beat this guy. And then we'll play against the guy who's hosting the tournament. Nice, we've got four spies. Holy shit. Nothing else we can swap out. That might be worth swapping. We've got a sun card. We'll keep the sun in case we need it. Yeah, that's, that's decent. Let's stay with that. Get loads of cards back anyway with these four spies. We'll get eight cards after all this. Eight different cards. Right, so let's play the spy game as always. All right, then, guys. Just got done giving the guy all the spies. He's got quite. A, he's got twenty-eight points on the front, so we'll use frost just to get get his points down low. And then, um, what 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 do we need now? Seven. We'll just use a ten or an eight. Use the eight because that way we can bring a card back as well with the reinforced card. Yeah, so beat it by one. He's still got 13 cards, he's got 9. Smashed it! We've got 2 Scorchers as well. So in this round we'll play um, Champions. And then we'll Scorch his stuff. So yeah, that's the plan. Well, he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Champion cards here. Look at this, all champions on the board. This is crazy. I want to scorch something. <laughs> Here we go. We can scorch that one. I think for the moment though, we'll just we'll wait. We'll put a five down. And sit on it and see what he get he puts out now. Puts another ten, that'd be awesome. No, a six. Turns into a seven. We'll just scorch the ten now. And we've still got another scorch anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um yeah, he's put that down. That's no issue. We'll scorch that as well, because we've got no cards for him to destroy. Just scorchy, scorchy, scorchy. Alright, what's next? It's another, another champion card. I think we'll play um, play a six, because he's got a seven. So if he's got a scorch, he can't destroy mine. Oh, we, if we had another scorch, we could have took out two cards there. got rain, we've got um, sun, so that's not, that's not an issue. He's passed, just use the sun and we'll pass and win. So yeah, we've got 67, he's got 61, he's passed. We win! This is so easy. <laughs> the mutant cheated! I'll gouge those devilish eyes out with my bare hands! Oh shit, he wants to fight me? What the fuck? Come on, come closer. Um, okay, let's, let's beat his ass. Like, isn't this um, gonna get us disqualified? Because the guy at the start said there's no fighting. What if he beats me? If I let him beat me, well, it's like... I don't know, I don't understand. Oh shit, he hit hard. He hits hard. Damn it. Crap, he's hit me hard. Let's keep countering him. Let's run, let's over heavy ones, because they hit harder, and you can land two as well. Yeah, there we go. Shit. Shit. I'm almost dead. Die! One more. One more. Counter him! There we go. <laughs> Fuck you, you bitch. Am I disqualified now? Well played. Congratulations on both your victories. I'd wanted to summon the guards initially, but... Uh... Yeah, it's better I took care of it. Please, join me for the final. I must admit I did not expect this outcome. Bet a rather large sum on another player, in fact. Might have guessed there were multiple games going on. Alright, so that prick there, you can get out, you fucking knobhead. It's because he lost the game. Can't stand people like that. 
It's a bad loser. So we're playing against Count Tybalt. I'm, glad, I'm happy we didn't get disqualified right there. Why is she joining us? What's she doing here? She just want to watch. Let's begin. Alright, let's do this. This is, this is like the proper final now. He's playing monsters. Hope we need we need frost cards for monsters then. We don't have any. We've got spies, two spies. Um we don't need that many horns, I don't think. I think let's swap out a horn. Oh, we got that guy. I think we might swap out on that guy again. Maybe. Yeah, let's swap him again. Yeah, we got frost, okay. Because um monsters always use a lot of upfront. And they summon like loads of additional minions and stuff. So Getting frost on them is really good. Let's get some cards first with the um, spies. We got another dummy. It's not great. Right, yeah. Oh, he's brought back um, Dandelion. It's weird. He put that out himself. Unless he's going to forfeit the first round already. Well, he's put it back out again. What was the point in that? I don't actually know why he did that. There was no benefit for that. He just wasted cards. Alright, so we don't have a lot of great stuff. Let's, let's play champions to start with, and um, if he puts like loads of fives out and doubles them with the dandelion, we can destroy them with the uh, scorchers. Oh, he's got an eight up there. Alright, that's okay for now. Let's just keep playing champions so he doesn't destroy anything of ours. Because quite often the first rounds are all about just getting your cards built and your deck built and all that, but this one, we're going straight into it, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, so we're having to play strong cards and stuff. So he's got two tens there. Let's destroy them. See what he does now. Right, he's playing fours now. He'll bring out more with that. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh shit, one's a five. Oh shit, we should have saved that Scorch. Because we can't kill them all now. Actually, wait there. What happens if we... How many on the, on the board? There's one, two, three, four, six. There's six on the board that are worth points. If we had ten, we could use Frost and then Scorch. No. Hang on a sec, if we do Frost, let's save it for a bit actually, and we'll use it a bit later on. So we just store the card there. I don't want him to have a Sun and get rid of the Frost, so that's why I'm saving the Frost. Because if I use Frost and then try and Scorch them all, you know, he might use the Sun before I get a chance to. Okay, so... Hmm, what can we do here? I think if I... Let's let's just do frost maybe, or scorch. Now if we scorch it, he'll lose ten points, and we'll win by three. Yeah, let's do that because we don't want we might we might need the frost again the next round. So let's do that and win. Because I think frost against monsters is better than scorch, because they use that many upfront things. I've only got one card. Shit, we have points. Two now. Okay. So, oh god, we're in trouble here. This is this is quite bad. Let's just put a six down. We have to play. We might have to play tactically here. Oh shit, we got a sun. It's all right. Let's just put them cards out then. Seeing as they're only worth one now, it's not like you can you can destroy them with a scorch. Right, he's, putting, he's using the horn on dandelion. I think because we we haven't got much to do here, we'll call that back. We'll just play the. Waiting game, see what he does, because I don't want to use any of the weather cards too early. Right, he's put a five out. Okay. Let's put this guy back out again. Let's just just let him play all his cards out. Yep. So we've still got frost, we can get rid of um the siege one as well. So we'll bring this guy out again. Just keep doing this until we know we can win. Okay, he's used sun. It's interesting. Right, he's got no cards left now. So if we put down this card again. Now if we just do frost. That takes him down to like four or something. Six. We won. Here we go. Smashed it. Superb match. A great pleasure. The prize will be yours. Thief! The coin's gone. The guard's been stabbed. 
What? How is this possible? No one's removed the coin from the premises. All those leaving were searched. Phew! We must scour the building. Anyone leaving must pass inspection. Alright, so it's not going to go so smooth then. I'm guessing she's got something to do with it, stealing the coin. Because she needs the money. Before you ask, it wasn't me. I believe it was you. My offer still stands. Perhaps you'd search for the coin with me. What? What? What's the offer? Wasn't the offer to lose? Let's just say Novena not get involved. I'd rather not get involved in this, thanks. I see Fringilla exaggerated immensely. You're not dependable in the least. Goodbye. I just don't like you. That's the problem. So, did we not get the coin? Is that it? We lost it. So we could have looked for the coin with her. I chose not to. And I get no prize. Shit, I mean, did I mess up there by not saying yes? Uh, I don't care. It's only it's only 10 grand. <laughs> it's the most amount of coins I've ever had in one set in one go. So, uh, alright then guys, I'm going to stick by my choice there. I'm not going to load the save and do anything extra. So we got the cards from winning. That's kind of something we got out of playing the tournament. Um, we didn't get the prize money. It kind of sucks. Maybe we could have got the prize money if we spoke to Sasha more. But I, I'm going to stick by my choice and that's it guys. Alright then guys, that's all we've got time for for this video. We've done the whole high stakes quest. Won it pretty easily. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.